Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's another glorious day and courgettes are right now in season. Um, I love obviously summer. Who doesn't like summer? I'm such a summer person and I love that in the evenings are longer. You can catch up with friends. So I've got some friends coming over and I thought I'll prepare a really quick snack for them. So I'm making a courgette garlic pakora. Super quick to make gluten-free i can't call them healthy because they are fried but they are super delicious and so moorish you just can't have only one right before i start cooking don't forget to subscribe hit the bell button so you get a notification every time i share a new recipe i am going to get some uh, sunflower oil in here you can use whatever oil you use for deep frying i just tend to use sunflower oil and if not i use rapeseed oil so i'm going to get some oil in here the time it takes to heat this oil up is the time i'm going to you need to prepare the mixture that simple so uh, this is something I would quickly make even if I get some friends unannounced or we want to eat something in the evening with a drink or a cup of tea. So I'm um, using a couple of courgettes. I've chopped the tops and bottoms and I'll be using some seasonal fresh garlic. Look at that. So lovely. I'm going to peel this and just give it a good wash and then prep the batter. You know, I've just peeled the outer layer and it smells incredible. This is the fresh garlic. Oh, look at that. So obviously you can just peel and take out the garlic cloves, but I'm not doing that because it's still kind of fresh. I've just peeled out one outer layer and I'm going to use all of this. So I am just chopping it into kind of thin slices and then if you want you can separate them a little bit. So you kind of get a bit of garlic in every bite. It's so nice to be able to use kind of fresh produce. Both of these are local. It's just the smell is so lovely and intense. That's the lovely garlic. You know what? I would happily make pakoras just of this. That's how much I love garlic. And obviously because it's fresh one. So I'm just slicing it into kind of thin pieces because I want kind of similar texture to the garlic. You know what? I think I might have it the same quantity of courgette as the garlic. This goes in there. So you want to chop them nice thin pieces. The reason I'm chopping it into these thin strips is because then you're going to get a lovely bite. It will not be like a mushy pakora. Right, time to add other bits to it. Like I mentioned, these pakoras are gluten-free. Um, so I'm going to be using some gram flour or besan and some rice flour. So we keep it nice and gluten-free. Right, so in goes 100 grams of gram flour goes in. 50 grams of rice flour goes in, so half the quantity. Rice flour is going to add the lovely crispness to this. Now for the spicing, I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. Also going to add one teaspoon of chili powder. Also going to add a little bit, half a teaspoon of turmeric because it'll just add a lovely hint of color and very gentle flavor to this. Next, I'm going to add a teaspoon of chaat masala, which you can make at home like I have made myself. You can find the recipe on the channel. Um, it's really easy, but it's a lovely, gorgeous mix of spices that adds so much flavor to this. Also, a teaspoon of ground cumin goes in and I'm just going to give it nice mix see you can see that you can still see the courgettes uh, and the garlic because you don't want so much gram flour that you can't taste the actual vegetable you just want a like a light coating of it now for a really lovely addition i promise this will be great it's a teaspoon of chili oil oh this is gonna be fantastic right i have got here some water I will tell you how much it is. The best way is to actually just add little at a time and stop when you think that the kind of uh, vegetable is coated nicely. You can still see all the vegetables and that is very important for a good pakora. So I have used here 110 ml of water and this is properly coated beautifully. So it should be sticky. So if your pakora's mixture is not sticky, it won't hold in the, in the oil. 
so it needs to be sticky uh, if it's kind of falling down then you've added too much water so add little at a time that is ready for deep frying and it smells just so good so this last year i've shared some master classes and one of the master class was how to make the perfect onion pakoras if you haven't checked it out yet i really <laughs> request you to do that because if you like these snacks then i share some really nice tips uh, to get them perfect every time so yeah like i said this needs to be kind of sticky so that it can hold together when you're frying it right the oil is nice and hot and i can start frying this is actually really nice and smoking hot there's nothing like to be cooked you know it's not like raw potatoes or chicken that it needs to be cooked so it can be on medium heat so just taking like a portion I'm making decent sized pakoras so they're not going to be like little pieces but you can choose how big you want them to be. So you can see these are beautifully golden and I'm going to get these out <laughs> oh, and get them on some kitchen roll to absorb some excess oil but these particular pakoras don't tend to absorb too much oil anyway so that's a good thing just gonna fry some more so just take a portion So you could serve this with any chutney of your choice. I've got some tamarind date chutney which I made, a batch. It's in the fridge, always in the fridge. I'm going to serve it with this. Look at this glorious plate. <gasps> Can't wait to tuck in. I've chosen a really good day to invite my friends. And I'm so pleased with this. Oh my god i really hope you are able to kind of find some really nice fresh garlic because that is going to be kind of really the unusual and the highlight flavor of this mm. you know what i might have to make another batch because i don't think this much is going to be enough wow there's that heat from the chili sauce, but not too much. Just like a gentle heat. The garlic is gorgeous. And um, of course, the courgettes, absolutely stunning. But the key is whether you find the fresh garlic or not. If you don't, then just chop up lots of normal garlic cloves. Use that. If you don't want garlic at all, you're not a fan because some people don't like garlic. Um, then I would say use some red onions or some onions or shallots, but whatever you do, do try this don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comments and i'll see you back very soon with another new recipe bye for now oh shush you guys you're not gonna get any <laughs>